In this lecture, let's go ahead and talk something about props and why they are required. So props are nothing but they are something which gets passed to a functional or a class based component. So the question is why exactly do we need props? So if you take a look at the components, whenever we create a component, we create them like that. And whenever we want to use them, we simply use them like regular HTML tags like that. Now what happens is, in many a cases, what you do is that uh, whenever you are using some HTML tags here, for example, if you are using an uh, image tag here, uh, what you usually do is that you also could pass in the property like width and the uh, height of that particular image in regular HTML. So this particular thing which you pass in is nothing but the attribute or the property of that particular HTML tag. And with props as well, we want to do something of a similar sort. So whenever we are creating components, we also want to go ahead and pass in some properties or attributes for those components as well. And these properties over here, which gets passed to the component are called as props. So now let's go ahead and try to understand the concept of props in a much more better way. And in order to keep it clear and crisp, what I would do is that I would get rid of these two components, which we had from the previous lecture, and we will work with a brand new component. So I would create a component here and I would name that particular component as profile. So let's create a component in the components directory. I will call it as profile.js and let's make it a simple function component so as to keep things simple. So I would say function profile and let's make this thing return some simple HTML or JSX. So return h1 uh, and let's say I want to say name as my name here and then simply export this particular thing. So export default, that's going to be profile. So this is a simple component. Uh, we have exported that component. Let's import that component here. So I would go ahead and say import profile from components. So once this is imported, I would simply go ahead and use this component here. So nothing new in there. We have simply created a component and we have made that thing return some HTML or JSX. Now this is all fine and good. But now let's say as we are passing some name here, let's say we want to make this particular field as a dynamic. Now, one way to do this is that you could create a variable here called as name and you could use a JavaScript expression here to evaluate that variable. So this is one way of doing it. But what if you actually want to pass that value from here instead of having to mention that value up over here itself? So how exactly would you do that? So in order to do that, we make use of props or properties. So as earlier mentioned, every component returns JSX and it accepts properties. So we have to make this function accept props right inside here because obviously even when you create a simple function in JavaScript, you could actually pass in parameters here. And that's exactly what we are going to do here. So I would say props here. So that means now this function is capable of accepting properties or props. Now after passing in, props up over here, let's console log props and see what exactly do we get. So if I say console.log and if I say props here, let's see what do we get there. So if I inspect the code here, go to the console, hit refresh, you could ignore these warnings here. Uh, these warnings are there because we have some unused imports here. So you could even get rid of the unused imports from here to get rid of the errors and that should fix that. Okay, so once we fix that, hit refresh. As you can see, when we log in the props here, we get an empty object right up over here. So if you click over there, it says that this is an object and currently the object is empty. And this is a valid point because if you take a look at the props here, we have made this thing or made this function accept a prop, but we have not actually set up a value for props for this particular profile. 
So the question is, how exactly to pass some value to props for this particular component? And this can be done by passing in that value here. So let's say I want to pass in the name value here. So I could simply say name equals and I could pass in my name up over here. So whatever value or attribute you pass in to this particular component right here gets passed over here as props. So now if you go back to the browser and if you hit refresh in this case, as you can see, you no longer get an empty object, but instead you get an object with a property name and that property name has a value of my actual name. Now the question is, how exactly can you make use of this value over here dynamically inside your component? So we already have that value in props. So here I could simply get rid of this static value for name use a JavaScript expression and let's simply try passing props here and see what do we get. So if I simply pass in props here, go back here, hit refresh, I would get an error here which would say that objects are not valid as React child. So that means we cannot directly go ahead and pass in the props object here, but instead I actually need to get the property value and the property value over here in this case is name. So I need to say something like props dot name here. And as soon as I do that, if I go back here, it says name as my name up over here and we no longer have any errors. Now by making use of these props, we are now able to pass in dynamic data to any component which we have. Now also we have said that a component is reusable. That means you could use a component multiple number of times. So what we could do here is that we could just copy the profile component, paste it multiple number of times, and you would have different components displayed up over here. Now one interesting thing which you could do because of props is that you could pass different values to different components. So for example, I could pass in different name values here and you could check the result. So for example, I could pass in John here. I could pass in Mark here save this, go back over here. And as you can see, we have different name values displayed up over here for every different component. Now there's one more thing which you could do with props. And that is, as this props is actually an object, you could pass as many number of properties as you want to this object. So for example, let's say along with the name, I also want to pass in the last name as well. So I could say last name equals type in my last name here. Similarly, add the last name attribute for each one of the other props as well. Let me change them here. So once we have passed in these properties here, I could now access those properties over here as well. So here, instead of props.name, I now simply have to go ahead and say props.lastName. And if I do that, go back here. As you can see, the first name and the last name would be displayed. So in a similar fashion, you could pass as many number of attributes as you want to the component. And those attributes gets passed to the components as props. And then you could access those props up over here like that. So this is how you could pass in multiple props to a given component. Now one more interesting thing about these components is that you could actually go ahead and pass in children to these components as well. So for example, right now, this component is self-closing. Instead, what I could do here is that I could actually use an opening and a closing tag for this component. And within this component, I could also have a children as well, which is going to be another component or simply an HTML. So for example, I could just use a h3 tag and I would say something like this is a profile of a person. And once I go ahead and pass this children up over here to this specific component, I also have to make sure that I make use of that specific children up over here. So in order to display the children, I could now go ahead and say props dot children and that will ensure that whatever children is being passed to this component is displayed up over there. So if I go back here, 
as you can see the children which we have passed gets displayed up over here which says that this is a profile page of a person so this is how props can actually be used to pass in attributes as well as children to the component so now let's actually tidy things up a bit uh, let's get rid of this over here uh, let's make it self-closing tag let's get rid of the closing tag from here and also let's remove children from here as well so you could always refer to this example whenever you want to understand the concept of props now as we have used props inside a functional component now we also need to learn how to use props in a class-based component as well so we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you